One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tony Zhou here. Uh, good to be back. Uh, I was pretty, uh, you know, sick in the last two days because of a second dose. Uh, I'm feeling much better now. And uh, yeah, first day back <laughs> and uh, it's a red day. So <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, you know, because of that, I think that there are, there are a lot of lessons that I want to go over this video and also to answer a lot of your questions uh, regarding, uh, you know, like a lot of people have been asking me why my losses are always so small compared to my winners. And uh, I will try to kind of explain it in this video. Uh, and uh, let me bring on the chart. Yeah, uh, you know, I lost like 159 uh, bucks, you know, uh, with uh, commissions and all that. Uh, maybe over 200 bucks or something. Um, you know, today was a tough day, right? Uh, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of uh, crazy shit happening, uh, you know, like C uh, CME, uh, CEMI, uh, you know, crazy volume today, around like 400 million or something. And uh, uh, not easy day at all. Uh, let me, I can, couldn't find the one I posted uh, yeah I think this was this one uh, yeah you know this is this not much uh, to be uh, damn it sorry guys Uh, this one, 159, uh, you know, it's just like the money. I, I, you know, I got some of it, uh, back and, uh, yeah. So, uh, let me go over, you know, um, or like, let me answer the questions of you guys that have, uh, that why are my losses always, uh, are always so small. Okay. And uh, to me, it's like this, uh, you know, it's really easy when you win. I mean, you know, when you have a winning day, uh, you know, you could make a few hundred bucks or a few thousand bucks uh, and, you know, and your rules are not tested, right? <clears throat> Usually we tend to do well uh, or like we are sticking well to the rules when we win. You know, that's that's the easy part. Yeah, you know, uh, markets open. Uh, and you make bang, uh, you know, you make a few hundred bucks on a thousand bucks there. And after that, you just go with small size. You don't want to lose, you know, back all the profits or, you know, you'll completely stop trading after that. Right. And so that's easy, you know, following the rule 1030, you're going to wrap it up. Uh, you already have, uh, you know, your target or whatever your uh, money. And that's easy. Right. <clears throat> and uh, uh, excuse me. <coughs> and <coughs> that's uh you know what we've seen from the traders that are consistently okay they have the consistency they've been making a lot of money or like they've been making consistent money uh, for weeks and months okay but they are not consistently profitable because of that you know loss right usually that one loss wipes out everything uh like on this one, right? Let's say this is the broken chart, right? In the pre-market, I mean, tank from eight point two all the way to six point three, right? Psych, you know, psychological line seven seven fifty, easy, right? You get that, you know, right at the open here, like six point nine, almost there. You got eighty cents, another one seven. Let's say you scale from seven seven fifty, you still make money, right? 
And then, you know, part of the process, shorting view app, make money, shorting, uh, you know, 750, make money here. So, uh, and, you know, and uh, if, if you short it, uh, you know, the stock like on, on the first bound is to that view app right here, crack, and you make money here, try to, you know, short it back. And then let's say you're gonna uh, you're gonna short it here right at the view app right seven, and let's say you risk above view app since you don't wanna you know give back too much right, and seven point yeah you ending up you know stopping out right here, and this is I think this is really the key point like this. Let's say you're not gonna you know like you know like this is really to me that's one of those outliers is pop into that view app rejects right stuff right here and this is like pretty much the sign what we used to for the last two weeks right after stuff like that i mean stock should have you know died after that or at least you know give you a decent wash after you know small pop back into that view app should wash back into that 6.4 here okay so trap you get out right i would have taken that trade every single time okay Short here, raise above here. Okay, paper cuts. One loss. Another one stuff. Short it back. Second loss. Okay, so these are the two losses that I took. But again, I asked myself, was it part of my strategy? Was it part of my process? Would you like would you have taken that trade in the future again and again and over again? Right? It's gonna happen again. Will you take it, right? If your answer is, is yes, then this loss, it's nothing but the cause of doing business. This is one of those, those outliers, right? You have, you know, uh, the, the place for you to short and you have the stop target. You know, there's nothing more to it. So why you have to take it personally? Right. So instead, if you didn't ask yourself that and you have FOMO, you're breaking your discipline, you're trying revenge trading, you know, after this one, you size up here, size up here and size up here, cover right at the top. And now you're hitting it, you know, pretty much max loss. So this is usually what happens is when you let that, you know, uh, like comfortable or like, you know, manageable loss turning into much bigger loss. Usually it's when it's, uh, you know, uh, you're breaking your own rules, you're breaking your own discipline. You didn't ask yourself all those questions that you should have asked. Okay. I mean, you know, if it part of your ass short here, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you short it right here in that dip because of that FOMO, if you ask yourself that, you wouldn't take that trade. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.